Good evening, welcome to Monday. Uh, so Monday typically is a recovery day for me, but as the end of last week was so uh, rubbish, I've decided to bump everything forward a day. So I'm doing tomorrow's workout, Tuesday's workout today. So the session is Danish intervals and it's 10 seconds hard, five seconds at 5K pace, 30 seconds recovery. Repeat that five times, two minute recovery, and then repeat again. So I'm gonna do five sets of five tonight. It's about an hour's workout in total, and I thought I'd come down to the uh, football ground to do it, because it's relatively flat, but it is quite busy, so we'll have to see how I go. But anyway, that's the plan. I've used my warm-up again down here. So uh, I'm gonna crack on, and I'll come back after a couple of the intervals and let you know how I'm getting on. Okay, four sets down, one to go. Apologies for the lack of top, it's really hot and very humid tonight. So I've lost my t-shirt and I've moved on to the cricket pitch. You probably can't see it because of the sun, but it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really empty tonight as well. The football pitches are very, very full. So I thought I'd come over here away from everyone because I'm anti-social like that. Anyway, I can tell I've not got any, uh, any strength, uh, sorry, any speed training in my plan for the last couple of weeks, or I've not done any speed training. I'm really suffering with my pace and things. So this is great, a bit of a kickstart. Right, that's it. Time to go. Last one. See you in a second. So that's... Ah, um, oh, that's better. Real okay, finished. Man, that was hard. Whew. So five sets of five. I'm recovering pretty well in 30 seconds. But I've definitely not got that kind of zip that I did have. Right, so... Uh, I'm going to make the most of the rest of this fantastic evening, go for 15 minutes or so to cool down, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm having to shift everything, so I can't remember what it is tomorrow, but uh, uh, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> Welcome to a very hot, very humid Tuesday. Um, today's workout is Kenyan Hills. Uh, like I said last night, the, the week's been kind of put into a bit of disarray. Wednesday's ride is happening Thursday. Sunday we're doing a long ride, which means I can't do Sunday's workout. So everything's kind of shifted um, back, coupled with the fact I had a bit of a crap week uh, weekend. So yeah, tonight, Kenyon Hills, which is the session I did badly last Saturday. So um, just as a replay, I did one effort and then felt very sick, dizzy, threw up, sat down, and then went home and slept. So I'm at the same place as I was on Saturday, I'm gonna run the same hill, um, but hopefully complete the workout. So the format for the Kenyan hill workout is run hard up the hill for two to three minutes. I think this is about three minutes, this hill. Run over the top for another minute and then recover on the way back down. And I've wondered if I could do a different like route down, like a, a technical downhill or something, but there's nothing that would bring me out close enough to be able to do it kind of easily. So I'm just gonna run up and down the same hill do that for about 50 minutes and then run home so the whole workout is going to be about an hour and 30 ish i think right i put it off far enough i'm going to crack on i'll see you at some point right so i'm about five five efforts in and i've come to realize i'm not a kenyan the, <laughs> these are hard really hard um each lap's about seven minutes in total so on a three and a bit up and three and a bit down. First lap I tried uh, descending this trail here. Um, unfortunately, it was just a bit too long. It uh, took me too long to get to the bottom. So it goes out and then back. And uh, I just thought it was, I was wasting a bit too much time. So I've, Followed my original plan and just going up and down the same track. Uh, I think I've got time for about one more and then I'll head home. I'm actually worried about the light. It's 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 kind of, it's fading pretty quickly. It's faded a lot in the last five minutes. So acknowledging I've got like a 15, 20 minute run home. Uh, I don't want to be stuck in the middle of the wood with that head torch. Right, enough talking. Time to get one more repeat in. I'll see you at the end. Good evening, welcome to Thursday. Um, the week, uh, 
Good evening, welcome to Thursday. It's a mountain bike ride tonight and solo up in the local. The lads, or everyone else, the riding group have gone over to Simonjat uh, and they're going to be riding trails which to be fair, I just don't feel confident riding just yet. So I've come up here, a sort of ride for an hour, um, just to uh, keep my eye in. Um, yeah, and the weather's been so glorious, it would be a shame not to. So just about to, to roll into the first downhill. Um, a bit of a catch up from Tuesday, which was the Kenyan Hill session. Ends up doing just over seven miles in about an hour and just over an hour and a quarter. So it was an hour and 17 minutes. I managed seven repeats, which was which was quite good. I was, I was quite pleased with that. Um, definitely felt, um, felt the uh, after effects uh, of the session. And then yesterday, Wednesday, I did a um, plyometric session. So plenty of kind of jumps, squats, lunges, those sorts of things, and some kind of push-ups and things. So my legs actually feel pretty tired today. They're, they're kind of aching in the way that only doing squats and stuff can make your legs hurt. Right, lights begin to fade. I'm gonna crack on, get this ride done. I'll come back at the end, let you know how I've got on. There we go, that's ride done. Nice and chill tonight. Uh, <clears throat> about eight miles, I think. But, did all the trials I wanted to do. Didn't stop, my legs feel pretty, uh, pretty warm. Enjoyed that. No crushes as well. <laughs> Hopefully that, uh, that habit will continue. Just freewheeling back home now. It's a gorgeous evening. There's a cracking sunset again. We've been really quite lucky the last week or so with the weather. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'm torn. I'm not sure whether to do a bike workout tomorrow or a run workout. Probably, probably a run workout, to be honest. See you then. Welcome to Code Brennan. <sighs> what a cracking day. Stunning, stunning day. We're in Code Brennan Trail Centre in North Wales and doing the beast. It's, it's a beast. I'm loving it so far. <sighs> Unfortunately, I managed to fail on this step here and all the other boys have done it. Go. Oh, right, let's get going. <laughs> The thing about is they name all the bits that you can potentially kill yourself on. So there we go, that's that's the kind of week done. Sunday was just a great, great day. Um, as I said, Cody Brennan, we did the beast and it is a beast. It's about 18 miles, which isn't very long, but there's a good 800 and something, 825 meters of elevation gain. And some of those hills are really steep. They are proper, proper thigh burners. Um, interestingly though, the last time I rode it, I suffered very badly. In the last couple of descents, I was just not, I was, I was just sitting on the bike, you know, hoping not to crash. This time I felt a lot better. I, I felt a lot stronger. Um, I, I fueled the whole day with, with tailwind. So like all the stuff that I've learned in preparation for Ironman last year has definitely helped. Um, 
finish feeling strong and you know no problems the day after which is awesome um, unfortunately a little bit of bad news today is Monday the 22nd of September and the new lockdown measures have been announced today um, I'd, I'd filmed this already and I had it kind of ready to go and then obviously um, the announcements were made at lunchtime so I thought I'd just refilm it because I was meant to be doing a half iron, um, sorry, a half marathon, not half Ironman, I wish, I, if only, um, half marathon on the 10th of October um, in the Brecon Beacons. Unfortunately, I really, really think that is going to be, um, that's going to be postponed. The organisers have put a message on their Facebook page to say they're going to make an announcement Thursday, but to be honest, speaking to James, who uh, is down to do the, 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 the event as well, He's not hopeful, and I'm not either. I really don't see it happening. So, back to the drawing board. We need to think about something to do, um, whether that's a half marathon on my own or whether it's something a bit longer. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I'll see you next week for more training, and I hope you are all keeping well, keeping safe, uh, and doing stuff that makes you happy. Cheers, guys.